Good day, everyone. I'm Contessa Brewer, live at the news desk with an update on that hostage crisis involving an American sea captain. Pirates holding Captain Richard Phillips for ransom say they're ready to kill him if the U.S. attacks. Right now, more U.S. warships are heading to that area and more pirates are heading there as well in ships that they've already hijacked with captives on board from places uh, around the world. Phillips' captors are hoping to get him to Somalia where they can hide him and negotiate a ransom. And overnight, Captain Phillips jumped from the lifeboat where he's being held. He was trying to escape to swim to freedom. But his captors fired their guns at him and they recaptured him. He was not hurt in the escape attempt. Joining me now from Seattle is a man who's familiar with this kind of a situation. John Dickinson lost his ship to pirates back in 1978. John, it's good to talk to you. Thank you, Contessa. So we have a film clip of what happened on board your ship when it was taken. I know that you were on your way to meet the ship that you own. Tell me what happened. What was the process there? Well, the ship had just returned from a, uh, a, a contract with the Cousteau Institute in Papua New Guinea, and it was heading to meet me in, aid in Yemen. And I got a call in the United States that it had been hijacked uh, through government sources. Uh, so what happened was, uh, as, the, as the film clearly illustrates, uh, hundreds of uh, Maldivians attacked the ship. Now this isn't new, and it's been going on for many years, which prompted me to call because all the news networks were reporting that this is the first time U.S. sailors had been held hostage. And as it turned out, there were three of my crew that were held hostage, and they were certainly American sailors. And they were held hostage for over a month while negotiations were being done through uh, Sri Lanka, Ceylon back then. I understand that you've so been studying we, piracy since, since that happened. Um, I'm just curious because from the video, it looks like these were like canoes that surrounded your boat. And in fact, in some of the film footage, it even shows children there. I mean, when we think of pirates now, obviously the image has to change to include it looks like just desperate people. Are these really th thugs and, and hardened criminals, or are these desperate fishermen who have all of a sudden found out a better way to get a paycheck? Oh, I wouldn't say desperate. I would say uh, um, uh, whatever. That's, that's for interpretation. But uh, I think what should be done is, number one, uh, it should be reported that the numbers, the numbers, uh, there's been over 130 incidents in the last year alone, and 50 of them have been successful. Uh, there are many reasons. I mean, I don't want to give excuses for piracy of, in any way. Right. And my thoughts and prayers certainly go out for the captain of this ship. Uh, I hope he returns safely with his crew, to his crew and his ship and, and makes his way. But there certainly are, uh, they certainly have reasons for attacking these ships who have been, uh, and, and reports have it that they've been, sorry? Well, John, it's, now it's interesting because with the, with the current um, hostage standoff with the pirates and Captain Phillips, it now appears there are other pirates in the area that have managed to hijack more ships. I think the number that I saw was five since the weekend. And so they're bringing these hijacked ships in with captives coming from, I mean, the captives are from Germany and Russia and the Philippines, among other places. They're trying to get them in place so that it strengthens the negotiations that these four pirates with Captain Phillips have. I mean, it, it, judging from what you, you saw with your own ship and what you've studied since then, is this an unworkable situation? I don't understand what you mean by unworkable. I mean, it's unworkable from the point of our warships being able to attack or, you know, negotiations have to be made. Uh, the, you can't I mean, you are, can't when you say negotiations, though, are you, saying a, are you saying a payout? There's got to be a ransom paid? I wouldn't say uh, a payoff, but some sort of negotiations. Maybe start off with a promise that uh, nuclear waste uh, won't be dumped in their waters. Uh, start off with a promise that the Europeans won't keep raping the fish. You think these pirates care about nuclear waste being dumped in their water? Oh, they certainly do, because it rolls up onto the beaches and people are getting sick in Somalia. Uh, also, the, uh, the Somalis are, are tired of uh, the United States uh, yeah. putting in a, a, a laundry worker in, to, to head up their country. And right. they probably are tired of our illegal 
uh, occupation of Diego Garcia, which is clearly against international law. All right, John, we appreciate you sharing the experience that you had back in the 70s, and, and certainly it looks like history repeats itself again. Thanks so much for coming on with us. Well, that was that was 30 years ago, and uh, trust me, there are many, many other American sailors who've been hijacked. Yeah, John, Just thanks. to make that point that... Let's go over to You're Monica welcome. now. She's at the politics desk with an update on the president's economic plan. Monica. All right.